asset management emerged in the global north, and that's where it's sort of flowered. But the tentacles are extending out into the global south. How are governments aiding and subsidizing that? What are the implications in those parts of the world? Yeah, it's a global north phenomenon principally, historically, um, which has, has lots of reasons for that. You know, one of the main ones is that these institutions are located predominantly in the global north, and they were typically less interested in other parts of the world. But as competition amongst asset managers in the global north has intensified, they've begun to think, OK, well, where, where can we buy assets where there's actually might be less competition? and more assets available. And, and the global south has been kind of the predominant answer, particularly over the last 10 years or so. So asset managers have been, been buying up, I would say, three main categories of assets in the, global, in the global south. So one is farmland. Huge amounts of farmland in the global south have been bought by asset managers. Um, second is transportation assets. So road systems, in particular toll roads, but not only toll roads. And then third, and probably primarily as energy assets. They have often argued that um, those asset acquisitions can, can be quite risky. So what they've kind of said is, you know, we'll, we'll invest in these assets, but we expect there to be some form of kind of guarantee. And so um, Global South governments have gone to quite significant lengths in many places to de-risk those investments, to persuade asset managers that the risk reward kind of equation is in their favor. 